Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Savita. Today I have come up with a video to show you how to paint an armor dresser for a traditional South Indian look puja cabinet. The traditional South Indian puja cabinets are in dark brown color with a touch of gold. I will also show you how to add a step inside a cabinet where idols can be placed. Before going into the video, I want to share pictures of other projects. These projects were carried out by other people who have watched my video and tried out some DIY projects by themselves. Thanks to all the folks who tried out and for sharing the pictures. Now back to our project today. This is a big armor dresser that I bought from Facebook marketplace. This cabinet has a shelf inside the door which is removable and two good storage drawers. The customer wanted me to flip this cabinet into a traditional South Indian style puja cabinet. For the outside of the cabinet, she wanted it in dark brown with some stencil work. For the insides, she wanted it in dark brown as well with a single step as shown here. I later realized that a thick layer of black paint on the doors and drawers were painted by the seller. The black coat was so thick that I did not want to add another layer of paint on top of it. So I first had to scrape off all the paints from the doors. Sanding off all the paint using a sanding machine will be a very messy work. Fine black paint particles would settle down everywhere if I did that. So I decided to use a paint stripper and then scrape the paint. This is a very harsh chemical and I usually don't like to use this. But I don't have any other choice here. Apply a coat of stripper and allow it to work. It melts the paint which can then be easily scraped off. Since this door has an uneven surface, it made the task even more difficult. So I got it done from my husband and escaped away. Meanwhile, I got to other woodworks like making the gopuram and the step. Once the paint was removed, it needed a light sanding to give a smooth finish. We have also drilled the holes on the doors for the bells. For adding the step, I have used the already existing shelf which was removed from the cabinet. I have cut it into two sections, 6 inch for the top and 8 inch for the front. First I have placed the 6 inch top portion using the studs that were already in the cabinet and then attached the 8 inch wood for the front using screws. I have also attached the crown mold which I have used for making the gopuram to give an embellished look. I used wood plastic to fill up the holes left over after removing the extra studs. Now I am done with all the woodwork and the cabinet is ready for painting. I have cleaned the cabinet thoroughly with plain water. For the dark brown color, I am using Java from Focart. I applied two coats of this paint for the complete cabinet except for the front portion of the step. I am going to paint that in green and red combination. The cabinet has a very nice gold color hinges and I don't want to paint it. So I have detached the doors from the cabinet and painted it separately. Once the painting was completed, I attach the doors back. Since the customer has asked for some wooden only designs on the sides, I have spray painted this using Rustoleum Espresso. The espresso matched exactly with the color Java from Focart. Using wood glue and also using small nails, I am going to attach this only designs on the cabinet. Before that, I have drilled small holes on the only for the nails. If you directly nail on the only designs, there is a high chance of creating cracks. Now it's time for the stencil work. 
Since the customer did not want the stencil work overdone, I only did the borders on the sides, small stencils on the drawers and one mandala stencil inside the cabinet. The important thing to remember while stenciling is use a stencil brush and take very small amounts of paint and move the brush in a circular fashion. To give a South Indian temple painting look for the step, I gave a touch of orange and yellow color. I also gave black wax as a finishing coat. After finishing all the painting work, I have attached the doors back to the cabinet. Later using gold paint, I have highlighted all the edges. I have also painted the gopuram in brown and gold combinations. Finally finishing the cabinet by applying water based polyurethane as a protective coat. I have spray painted the finials and attached it to the gopuram using screws. Once the polyurethane coat has dried, I have highlighted the doors using gold ribbon buff. Finally finish the cabinet by attaching the under cabinet LED lights and the bells on the doors. Hope this video helps you to make your own puja cabinet and transform it to give a more traditional appearance. For all the product details, please see the description box. In each of my videos, I have given unique ideas and DIY tips. So do watch my other videos without skipping. Subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for the notification. Thanks for watching.